Good morning. Hope everyone's good. Hope everyone's well. Today, I was watching a sermon about God's problem by Stephanie. I can't remember how to say her last name. But yeah, I was watching her um, for like around 36 minutes. And it's basically saying, go in peace. Don't worry about what you've been doing in your past. So look at you now, you made your decision to be in Christ and now you're living within Christ. You're a new creation. Don't worry about your old self. Don't worry what you've done in your past. And the verse she was talking about was around Luke 40 to 48 about the woman who had so much problems. She was bleeding a lot. And Jesus was walking through the town where there's so many people seeing him, want him to say you're healed and to heal their family or whoever. So this woman was walking and she touched his garment and she found a way because the disciples were around Jesus. Then Jesus felt it. But the disciple says to him, there's so much people around us that could have touched you. How do you know who it actually was? Then the woman came trembling down, falling down. Then Jesus got her hand and said, daughter, because of your faith, go, go in peace. So what that took, what I took from it was, the situation that I'm going through by the devil because the things that he done in the past with Adam and Eve and Cain and Abel because God said to Eve you've got something that will beat, defeat the devil obviously the devil could hear it so he's thinking who is it? is it God or is it Cain? So when Cain came, he had his all eyes on Cain because he thought he was going to be the one that's going to be the one that's going to help her defeat the devil, etc. So he had a plan. Then Abel came. Then now Cain is looking at his little brother at a different way. Looking at him like why is he doing so much things and he's getting all the praises and what i learned is that we can't envy each other we can't be jealous of each other because everyone has a different gift god even told cain cain listen to me i want you to do certain things for you to be righteous but you know the devil was inside of cain and he was not hearing it so Cain took Abel far away from his parents and killed him. Now, Cain had so much blood on his hand that the devil done, God is going to redirect the situation and end up ki killing Cain because Cain didn't obey. Cain didn't listen to God because he had an assignment to do. But because the devil could hear, could see, would know what we will be going to do. That's why we need to not speak out to a lot of people because the devil could try a thing, but what you have to do is listen to the man upstairs. Even though a certain time you might think, is it myself? Is it God's voice? Is it the devil's voice? You're not too sure. But if you read the Bible, you're going to understand. Because when you read it, God is speaking for you. So what I got from it all together is go at peace and don't let anything stop you from the assignment that God has done for you. Because look at Paul. Paul was Saul. Saul was killing off Christians, taking them to jail. Then he saw the light. And he turned his ways 
and now he's preaching to the Christians churches the churches everywhere he goes he's speaking to the nations because he knows the truth the truth is in the Lord and the truth is in the Bible so you've got to wake up give him praise every day when you wake up because certain people are not able to see today so go at peace everyone and don't worry about the past because the past is the past worry about today and don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow will worry about itself have a great day stay safe god loves you